I switched my thing. Uh, <laughs> let me do the opening. Sorry. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Gadget Talk tonight. Um, I'm excited for tonight because we're actually going to be really close to wrapping up this build. Um, if you guys notice uh, here to my left uh, is Gary tonight. Is not so Derek. He's, no, he's co-hosting. So Gary's on twice on Gadget Talk here. I know. Look at me. I'm a regular now. Yeah, there you go. Regular you're, Gadget Talk. You're going to be on now. for me building stuff next, right? Yeah, exactly right. <laughs> um See, so you take the screwdriver here, and then you find a a nut, and you or is it a screw? Oh, never mind. I'll figure like it out one day. Yeah. I'll figure it out someday. So, unfortunately, Derek uh, got caught up with some work stuff tonight. So, um, as everybody knows, he's a busy guy. So, Gary has been very nice to jump in and fill in for him. You bet. Uh, tonight. So, uh, maybe we'll see him later on. I don't know. I don't know how his night's going. So, yeah. we will see. We'll see. So anyways, uh, before we get on any further, let's go ahead and do our sponsors. Yes. If you have not become a patron of the Geocache Talk Network, what are you waiting for? Patron levels start as low as a bison tube level at $3 a month. To sign up is easy. Simply go to the Geocache Talk website and click on the Become a Patron button or go to patreon.com forward slash geocache talk. Patrons now get the famous blackout coin, invites to special events, and other really great items throughout the year. Become a patron today. Logwork, the creators of the fantastic logbook made with genuine right in the rain paper. The logbook's designed for the micro containers of the present and future, geared towards the hider who'd rather go caching than doing cash maintenance. Find them at logwork.com. That's L O G W E R K.com. Have you subscribed to FTF Magazine yet? FTF Magazine is the number one geocaching magazine available. It is a quarterly magazine that you can be part of. Submit your geocaching milestones and adventures to be published. FTF Magazine is also interactive with puzzles to solve and the hunt to find Spartacus. If you can solve the puzzle or find Spartacus, then you will be entered in to win a special path tag. Every new subscription, you will receive a special swag pack. Subscribing is easy. Just visit FTF's website, ftfgeo.com. Don't miss out and subscribe today. Perfect. Cool. Well, perfect. I want to thank everybody for uh, joining tonight. It looks like we got a lot of regulars just finding our way. Tom is on, of course. Uh, and then Darren Archer from Australia. Yes. Uh, down under. Yeah, down under. It's tomorrow from the future. Um, I think it's the, yeah. <laughs> the four wait, the fours awakens. I love that name. That name is, is great. Uh, MacGyver and flow. Uh, and then Chad Tricassius is on. So, Welcome, everybody. Um, Scooby loves Poo, Hugh, all of our regulars are on. So mm -hmm. appreciate you guys coming on here and uh, and watching the show tonight. Yeah, it's gonna be good. You know, I've been I've been enjoying you guys doing the uh, uh, the scream canister. It was a great idea. Was that originally was that your originally your idea to start doing that, or was that Derek's idea? The as no, far as that was mine. Um, okay. Cool. It started with that other sci-fi canister, and then I was looking at canisters online and saw the Scream one. And then, actually, I think it was more of a viewer thing. Actually, that's what it was, if I remember oh, right. Cool. It was a viewer's, because they saw the, the sci-fi canister here. Right. And then they said it looks like a Monsters, Inc. canister. Oh, right. <laughs> that's what started it. So, that's and then, then I found that. I thought, that's a really good idea. I found that yeah. file, and that's what kind of started it all. So, it's all the viewer's yeah. fault. Well, I love the movie, uh, the first one, and uh, I love what y'all are doing. So, looking forward to yeah. tonight. When I was in Disneyland uh, last week, I tried to find the yeah. full size one. So they have a real uh, outside the Monsters Inc. Uh, ride. They have a full size door and canister and everything. Wow! Um, but evidently, it wasn't available last week, which was oh, I wanted man. to get a picture. I bet. I bet you're looking for clues. You know, for the. I spend yeah. more time looking at all the props than right. doing the rides. So, anyways, you would you would be 
for some people, you'd be very frustrated to go to Disneyland with. <laughs> Others, oh, yeah, why? Just because you'd be like distracted. You'd be like, oh, wait a minute. But we're going to go try to ride this thing. No, no, wait. I want to go check this out. Look, <laughs> look, look, it's the Millennium Falcon. I got to take a look at this thing here. So, well, I spent a lot of time there in uh, Abu. Right. I think it's called or Nabu, Abu, Nabu, I think it's called. So, uh, spent a lot of time, but you know what? You're in, you're in line sometimes for two hours. So you got plenty yeah. of time to look at all the props. The nice thing is, is they do the props through the whole line. Right. So as you're moving through the line, you see different things. So you gotta make sure lots you of photos. Fast pass. Did you have yeah. fast well, pass everything? We did the fast pass. I think it's called lightning link now. Oh, okay. But you can only do it one at a time. And I could be there at 10 AM and want to do a lightning lane for lightning lane. say smugglers run. Um, or fast pass. I think lightning lane is what the new one's called. Oh, okay, yeah, it makes sense. If I'm there at 10 and I want to get a lightning lane for Smugglers Run or Indiana Jones, it may not be available till 5 p.m. Oh, yeah, that's true. And you can only have one at a time. So I can't right. do a lightning lane or fast pass for another ride until that one's used. Right. Yeah, you can't double oh. them up. Right. So here's a little blast from the past. Here's a fast pass Splash Mountain. I oh wow! Use. Yeah, everything is done on the phone now. 2012. Yeah, I know. Is this worth anything now? Probably not. <laughs> yeah. Another fast pass ticket will be available after 3 p.m. So, like you said, you can't get another one till not. 2012. Able I was there to... in 2012 last as well. Wow. Oh, yeah. All right. I just anyway. Really yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, that's that's funny. My fast um, pass is right there. Yeah, and you know what's funny is they were sold out every day, and California has opened up, so no masks required, nothing. And here in Washington, yeah. you get back here, and you're like in isolation. So. Oh, <laughs> later on, Bell on the Move wants to see your uh, your your uh, lightsabers. You Lightsaber. Had. Well, let's get to our build, and then uh, we can we'll go get to that, that later. Stuff. Yeah, yep. we can go over that stuff here uh, when we're all done uh, with the build. Cool. So anyway, I can sit here and talk all night about it, but we can uh, move on to that. Cool. Sounds good. Um, yeah. So I'll let Gary, Gary's going to drive the cameras and stuff tonight in the chat. So um, yeah. he'll let me know what's going on just like normal. Okay. We'll do. Perfect. Oh, do I need to remove this camera? I think I do. Eh, I can remove it if you want me to. Okay. You prefer? You want me to move that one down? <laughs> Yeah, I think Derek usually has me remove it. Because I think something with the... Uh, no, no, it has to... Oh, does it? Okay. I don't know. You, I'll let you take it off. I'll let you drive. Does it have to stay live for the for your sound to work? Uh, I think you can pull it down, though. Just see, pull it down and see if it stays. Nope. Nope, yeah, so... Nope, that's okay. Um, I don't know the trick Derek has. He has all kinds of tricks. Almost like Build he does cam. it for a living. Let me let me put the let me do this. Let me unmute you here. Let me mute you here. Unmute you here. Does that help at all? No, I can't unmute it. You'll have to unmute it. <laughs> Not that. Okay, one. no problem. We'll get it figured out here. I was gonna have you unmute the other one, but that's okay. Uh, oh, unmute this one. No, mute that one. <laughs> unmute the other one. <laughs> Never mind. Okay. See, if you unmute, look, I, was, I was thinking if you unmute this one. Which I, I was trying to, but it. if it's not. Uh, oh, I got to do it from that computer. It's a different computer. Oh, okay. But, but you, if we. Um, but your audio is not going to work on that one, right? Yeah, I don't remember what he does. To keep that up there. Um, well, we can watch it. We, we'll still hug. We'll st oh, now he's done it. <laughs> he, just, he disconnected him from the other one. So, all right. Well, until then, I will mention a couple things while we we uh, we wait on on. Uh... Okay. Oh, we're back. He asked me to stop the camera. Now you can hear me, right? I can hear you. Yes. 
Okay, he asked me to stop the camera down below. So, oh, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, okay. There's all there's stuff you don't see in the bottom, right? All right. Kinds of buttons, and so there's that's what we're talking about. Okay, so, sorry we're about good. that. Learning curves. Okay, so um, anyways, we're in my shop uh, over here, um, and we are going to get the canister mounted to the the small canister, which is not finished yet. Next week, everything will be finished. Uh, to the uh, side of the door, so this side piece here. So we're going to mount it on the side there, just like in the movie, or, or close to it. It's not going to be identical, right? To it. So um, first thing uh, we should do here is let's go to the build cam. Yep. Right on down here, um, yep. and then. Um, so this is what we have here. And so what I did was I custom made or designed this real quick as I, I got back in town this weekend. Um, so this is the top that's going to sit over the canister on the side of the door. Okay. Um, here. So um, I just did a quick design on it. I already have some stuff I want to modify on this, but it's going to work for, for right now. And if I change it this weekend, I'll show the changes I do. Um Right. But uh, I printed it in several pieces, so I have these little claws here um, okay. that come down. Um, in fact, let me share a picture it of the holds door. It in place. Okay. Yeah. Let me come over here and share. Sorry, no I had to problem. pull it up on my screen. No, you're good. My desktop yeah, is, everybody sees my desktop is like, that is such a mess. <laughs> well, actually we can't right now. We're just, I can see your, I can see your, your, your scrolling right there. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let me uh, share the screen. There we go. Where are we at here? Okay. So what we're going to talk about are these clamps here. Um, that's those little parts. They're not identical, um, but we're pretty we're pretty close. We're close enough. Yeah, you're, um, you're pretty close. That's is that a screenshot from the movie or or? Yeah, that's a screenshot from the movie. Okay, cool. Um, which one thing I noticed when I was at Disneyland is this is a screenshot from the movie, but their door, Boo's door in the movie, these are uh -huh. purple. They're different colored. They're colored. Oh, different, really? Which is kind of weird. I'm like, <laughs> I don't know. Well, right? They're... Disneyland should know what. Yeah, really. It's there, right? They they made it. But anyway, either way. Um, huh. So those little clamp claws there um, are what we have down here uh, on the bottom. So I know the ones on there are a little more pointed, which I can change. Um, but they curve in. Um, I put them on. I made three of them, which is what it looks like in the, in the picture. Right. Um, and then I just put a, a number four screw, inch and a half screw through it okay. to make it swivel. Now... I don't know if I'm just going to glue them shut as a cache because I could see people messing with it, trying to take it apart, mm. breaking it. I'm not sure. So, but for tonight's purpose, that's what I did. So, can, um, can you show the top of the canister? Give me no, no, the the canister itself. So, okay, oh, okay, oh, all right. I'm I'm starting to follow you now. Okay, so they yeah, kind so of on the clamp on the side. Correct. Yeah. If you bring up that photo again, I don't know if you. Yeah, I can can do that it you can see it's mounted onto the side of the door which is this piece here so um what we're what we're talking about here on this oh, okay. is uh, i'll point you at the mouse is we're yeah. building this we're mounting to this piece here but we're building this whole system here the tubes uh the mount for the screen container that holds the screens i guess yeah uh, and then oh, the parts okay. that hold yeah, the, okay. hold the that canister sense. yeah so, I, fo I follow you now Okay. Yeah, that's that's cool. Yeah. I didn't that's catch cool. you up before the show, so sorry about that. No, you're that. good. No, you're fine. Um, I like it. I'm just as lost. I don't know what I'm doing. You're doing fine. Okay. So uh, anyway, so that's what these clamps are um, here. And then on the side of the container to mount it to the to the uh, the door frame or the frame that holds the, the, screw, the door, um, I made two of these here pieces okay. that will actually mount here 
on the side. And this actually will allow it to, well, the plan was to allow it to swivel. Um, I need to make these parts here a little bit longer so oh. it could swivel more. I actually tried to, to uh, grind away a little bit of the plastic so it can turn some more, but it's not working. The other thing is, is I, I don't need to make this as big as I did. Um, you know, I, I designed this fairly quick, but um, I, I could change the design of this. But I think if I made these parts here just a little bit longer, little, I little think bigger, that would work right. just as well. So gotcha. anyway, that's where we're at. So we're going to go ahead and mount these parts here. Now, if you look at the uh, photo, I had it, everything mounted. So I had several mounts here made uh, right. for this, and I had everything mounted centered on the the side of the the door right but i was looking at the photo and it looks like it's actually set back behind this a little bit um hmm. so i redesigned everything um to actually sit on the back side and so what i ended up doing with this is cutting one of them a little bit shorter and then using the other side as a spacer on the back which i could glue it on there or i can when i redesign them i'll just make it so it's correct. So right. the, the canister itself is actually going to sit back a little bit further back from the door, but you really can't tell too much. Right. Is it on the side of the door or is it going to be? It's, it's on the side, but towards the back of the mechanism. Oh, okay. the, yeah. So these clamps that come up to hold the door, it's kind of on gotcha. the back side. I follow you. So, uh, okay. Um, so first we'll just mount these. And what I'm using on this is, uh, uh, they're not quarter inch, 5 16 I think they are. 5 16 uh, by 24 or 20 Allen All right. wrench screws. Now, into uh, you want to make this part here solid in here, and you can thread it with a tap. Right. Um, but uh, you also want to use coarse threaded screws when you're going into anything plastic. Now, you can also um, get the inserts that are, sorry, I'm out of the screen there. Uh, you can get the inserts that you could actually use a soldering iron, and I have some here. Um, and you could actually insert a metal insert in there to screw it into. Um, but for tonight's purpose, I didn't have the right size ones, and I couldn't get them. So we're just going to go ahead and go right into the plastic, and it should hold it for tonight. Is the coarse because of the the nature of the plastic that you to help it? Yeah, it holds it, it holds it into better? the plastic okay. better. It grips into plastic better right. than a fine thread. Right, a fine thread is better for metal. Or metal or wood or wood. Yeah. Wood well, use, wood you should screw. still use like a drywall screw. Uh -huh. uh, for wood studs, it's, it's coarse thread, and then if you look at a metal coarse. stud one, they're a fine thread. Oh, okay. For drywall. Gotcha. Um, so uh, we're just going to go ahead and mount this in here. Yeah. With the right tip. I'm gonna screw yep. gun here. Get your right, Alan. Oh, did Alan say something? No, Alan wrench. Oh, okay. I was thinking of an Allen wrench or a, it's a hex or star. Some of them are star mm -hmm. pattern. Yeah. So you have the torques, uh, the T bits yeah, of the star. All the different. Torque, um, yeah. Exactly. yeah. And those are great for not wanting anybody to get into it, uh, which I will change these out. I might even do. I thought about putting in, or actually, I thought about making this all as one big piece. And so they actually uh, don't move and it's solid. So when I actually put it into the um, cache, then no one can really take it apart or mess with it. Uh, but yeah. I'll use a security screw when I do these permanently. Yeah, we we tried to find security screws. We were when we were putting together the um, the Mingo plaque, and we were trying to get that, you know, up on the up on the uh, the metal frame, and we're like looking for security screws. We're in Colby and. Eh, we went to the one hardware store in Colby and they didn't have any. So, is it an ace? Yeah, I should have tried Radio Shack. Yeah, we tried a couple places and that didn't work out. But, uh, yeah, some a Facebook user said JB Weld. That's kind of yeah. what we ended up doing. Um, so, so that, I've actually filled the ends of these with JB Weld on a pan oh, head, cool. uh -huh. um, just so no one could get into them or take them off. This right. you could still grip with a pair of pliers and twist it, but if you used a pan head, um, then it would be a lot harder for them to grip. Right. 
Okay, so you can kind of see here how it's offset towards the back. So more of it's sitting towards the back of what the cash will be or the door right. than, uh, than forward. So um, I'm going to go ahead and use one of these furniture screws here. Um, yep. It's about four inches long. Yep. Uh, and same thing, you can get a furniture, uh, you can get a, a, a threaded insert you put in these, um, or you can use a screw post. Um, which is, right. I don't know if people know. So you, when you get a screw post, you have a stud, a threaded stud, or just a screw right here. And then the other side is a threaded post that has an yeah. end on it, or it can be flat. It doesn't even have to have, it could be blank, which would be good on this because then no one could use it. And I think I have one right here. So this is a threaded post that this side has no way to screw or unscrew. Flat. Right. And you do it. Oh, and it's not, it's not flat here. There's not, yeah, flat. I see what you mean. And then yeah. this is a standard head. I'm sorry. I thought you meant it like a flat head. No, no flat head. So no, you would screw no, it from the back no side. Right. Yeah. Right. I understood exactly. you said after. I... <laughs> yeah. And you could, would you also try to secure that with um, some Loctite or something? That, I mean, are because you, you're basically going to make it so, it, you know, nobody's getting in there. Yeah. You can use Loctite. Um, if you want, I mean, it's just going to make it tougher to undo it with your fingers, I think. Well, um, I'm just thinking but, ahead. Is that is that a part that you're going to need to, that you need to get If I ever have to service it, I'm going to want to take it off. Oh, now, okay. All right. So you don't want to lock so, it down completely. Okay, gotcha. You know what I'm thinking real quick before we do this? Uh -huh. I actually need to put a hole here for the wires. Um, Engineer 42 oh, yeah. mentioned a while ago. So I was going to actually use some 90-degree couplings on here. Um but he mentioned about putting a hole here uh, to actually have the tubing. So I'm going to use it. I found this other tubing in my drawer the other day when I was looking for something else. Oh, and this is very flexible. <laughs> uh, and Perfect. so it's actually going to go all the way through and, and return back to the cache. Yeah. So before we get anything mounted on this, we need I need to go to the drill press and screw uh, drill a hole through this real quick. So I'll just step behind me here and Smart. drill the okay. hole. Let me switch the camera back. Gotta love uh, StreamYard is what we use, and uh, StreamYard is, does a great job of of uh, allowing for a lot of this uh, options. They've actually added in extra things now too, where we can add more cameras without having to do. In the past, what we had to do is we had to just open another session of StreamYard and join that. Now we actually have an option within StreamYard. Each of us now, each person who's connected can actually click and, and choose an extra camera. So you can have multiple. Everybody, you could have like multiple, multiple cameras, like what they're doing right now. So, okay. So I have the hole there for my tubing, and it should fit pretty snugly yeah. through it. So we'll put that on later. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, so back to this mountain this. So furniture screw, uh, about right. four inches long. These also have the, the screw post form as well. You can get, um, but uh, I'm just going to go ahead and thread into this other side. Now, when you're threading into plastic, you don't want to go too tight. Okay. Uh, and strip it out. So right. I'm going to try and do this without being able to see what I'm doing. <laughs> so what I did, I guess I didn't show on here. I picked one of these little... Uh, recessed uh right things here to screw a hole in i don't know if i'm going to go up or down i'm really thinking about resizing the container a little bit more which you'll mm -hmm. see here at the end um what i'm talking about but uh, i just picked one put a hole through it right the grill yeah through the grill there's a little grills yeah. on the sides of it yeah so this isn't the prettiest way to do it but i didn't have time to this top took a while to print, so I didn't have time today to sure. mess with it. So we're just going to snug this up. Oh, that's good. It's not, it's not perfect, no, um, it's but good, it's though. going to work. So um, yeah. I probably should go a little bit more. So this here should be able to, to twist these things here, but they're not long enough. I don't know if you can see that, right? 
the reason I want to make it longer is these can move. Oh, yeah, right. Right. So if I made it longer, then it would actually have more adjustment. So if I right. made these little arms here a little bit longer, even a half yeah. inch, I think, would be good. Just enough inch. to get it right. Because you're going to yeah. need to be able to flip that up. Is that? Well, I don't want much... to flip it up for the cash. Uh, the yeah. cashers are not going to need to flip it up. But um, for the way that the canister needs to mount at the angle, it's kind of oh. off a little bit. Mm -hmm. Right. So it's going to sit. I want it to be in there straight. But if you look at this, it's kind of twisted, right? Kind of off center a little bit. So I want it right. to be straight. Um, but you can't make it hard. so rigid that you can't get the canister to fit correctly. If you if you if you didn't have a little bit of uh, flexibility in there, right? So if I made these a little bit longer, it'll give me more room to to a, to a tilt or adjust the top. Right. So and this these aren't the permanent colors. Uh, they're going to be painted. So. Yeah, these are my throwaway colors that I never use. I figured I might as well. <laughs> right, you uh, might you're, as well use them. Yeah, that's funny. The the PLA ones that you think are. Yeah, these, these are the color changing go. ones, and this is <laughs> one that I bought for something that prints different colors as oh, it goes. Okay. Uh, right. But I never use it, so shape. yeah. Um, so uh, now the one thing I do like about mountain to the back. So originally, my front mount. Sorry, I made a bunch of them here. My front mount, I added this fin here so I could actually, it, so it's a little flexible and it will go oh, with yeah. the curve, I right? Like um, and then I made it long enough to put a couple screws in. Um, but what I like about, but you have to get this like perfect. And this is the only angle it could be at. So I've actually had to reprint this several times at a slightly different angle. Oh no, right. Um, with what we're, what I change it to actually is I made this as two holes in the back and because it's sitting behind it, we could actually mount the bottom part of this and actually put this right to the container and then screw a couple holes, drill a couple holes and screw in the back. And so you don't have, you can actually adjust this right as you're putting it together. Instead of worrying about the angle. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I gotcha. So uh, yeah. Ruma, Ruma Cat's saying that this is better than the food channel. So I I take that as a huge compliment. <laughs> Yes, especially coming uh, from well, coming from anybody. I and, appreciate everybody who watches and comments. And Andrew says that uh, it's my kind of recipes. <laughs> <laughs> so um, let's move to the other side. So, like I mentioned, we'll put these fins down. One thing I didn't like about this either is the length of these. They should catch right in there. So I printed a shorter one on it as well. Um, but I haven't put it in, actually end up having an issue with the print. Um, oh. but, um, I might end up changing these a little bit more as well. Um, I just like to look at the longer ones, just like what's in the movie. So originally I was like, well, then if I could actually just move this down a little bit, but with the way I don't have a ton of room at the bottom, mm -hmm. so I can't move it too far. But they're for aesthetics, right? They're not actually holding anything. in place. No, they're not. No. Okay. And there's also a handle that goes here too in the movie which I will have one, but I actually haven't had a chance to make it yet. Right. Okay. Uh, so anyways, we're going to go to the backside. We're going to mount the bottom bracket first. So the bottom bracket is this one here that actually clips in to here. Right. Right. And it, so this here is a, is a little V notch V groove uh, in here um, that this actually, I made this perfect enough to actually snap and hold it in yeah. place. It is nice. So, and then the nice thing about being a mountain on the backside, and then no one will ever see it because of the cache, you'll never see the back. Right. Um, is we can just put this in place where we want it. Uh, right and if this adjusts a little bit more, we could actually play with it to how we right. wanted it to be. And then we could screw it. Now, I don't want it all the way against the wood down here. Right. Because it's not that way in the movie um, or in the picture. I kind of want it to be a little bit further out. So, um, I am going to go ahead and put a drill. I actually already did one hole there with a screw right. um, to kind of get it started. This is a square. Okay. Now, these are Craig screws, yeah. and so if you see how coarse those threads are, it holds into MDF. Really are they really well. called Greg? Are they really called yeah, they're a Craig brand screw. So for the Craig for uh, <laughs> uh, 
doing uh uh what is that called i can't even think of the name of it off the top of my head um anyways doing a hidden fastener oh okay i'm sure chad cassius or someone on here will correct me uh on the correct name of it is, oh they may not be the official name of it no they're called craig screws they're well they're oh, made they by are. a company named craig i mean they're just a screw um there but oh uh, craig, craig okay fours awaken says craig k-r-e-g it's a brand. yeah i'm thinking yeah. craig like like you know like <laughs> like craig michelle like see my shell oh like yeah no they're uh, a-i-g they're craig k-r-e-g okay craig is the brand um, appreciate that uh so they're for, for pocket holes so right here oh per- yeah that's what he said for pocket holes yep yeah okay cool good to know okay. always learning something here yeah yeah they work well so um i'm gonna go ahead and screw this in here and it, you can see it's kind of touching but i don't want this angled too much mm-hmm. maybe i'll redo the hole move it out a little bit yeah you thinking yeah, let me grab a drill here. Right. Don't need a very big bit for these screws, but. Push it out a little bit, right? Yeah. So I did two screw holes, and before, you know what I did? I think I went all the way through. I shouldn't have done I wasn't thinking. Just pressing on the drill. Um, yeah. Anyway, uh I usually do the back and then that way you can adjust this as well. And then once you get it where you want it, you can do the the front one, but it should be okay to do the front as well first. Okay. Oh, that's a good, yeah. A good angle. Yeah. Um, we have a question in the chat room for you, Chad. Okay. Engineer42 asking about around here and around where I'm at too, Engineer42. Cashers seem to break most gadgets. Are you worried this will be too fragile for the last? Well, and that's where I was mentioning. I was really thinking about designing this as a one-piece print, right. and then it's just a big solid piece. And it looks cool. You can paint it to have different to make it look like it's more than one piece. But then it mm-hmm. can't come apart in many pieces. Uh, yes, I am afraid that someone's, I know that someone's going to go, oh, I wonder if I can take that container out. Oh, what's right. it look like inside? I know that's going to happen, which is why I don't like to have screws shown, anything like sure. that. So, sure. uh, yes. And so that's why I'm, I'm debating whether just to design a whole new uh, piece or just gluing it all together. Yeah, I, I, I think that if you made it, and I've done this too with um, some birdhouse catches I have, which is even if it has a screw that maybe you're not able to completely cover, I try mm-hmm. to make sure that it's so secure that the typical cacher, well, uh, let me, let me, yeah, the typical cacher, I'll say it this way, it no is going to maybe go, huh, I wonder if you're supposed to mess with this. But I make it sec- so hopefully secure enough, at least I try to make it secure enough that this like, no, you are not to mess with this. Find another way, you know, try to direct people a, d- a little bit differently to get that. Uh, um, Tricasha says, it's fun seeing how, how you work through the project. There's always something I don't think about the first time around. Great job. I agree. Yeah, I mean, I don't either. That's why I like watching <laughs> other people's builds as well, because there's always uh-huh. ideas like Engineer 42 with this hole on the top. That was his idea completely. I did not think about that. So, um, I, but I so what do... I'm doing is I'm putting tape on here. Okay. I tried to clamp, but it didn't work. It failed. Um, I thought about a rubber band, a big rubber band, but then I got to take the container out to get a rubber band around it. So I'm just going to try some tape to hold it tight on there. Okay. It's like it's not working. So I'll probably just hold it by hand. 
I was thinking it would hold it tight so that I don't it won't get any kind of a gap when I'm screwing it in. Right, I follow you. Um, or anything like that, but make sure everything's tight. That's and a then, hard uh it's a hard angle for a clamp to hold. Yeah, yeah, it's on the curve and I was thinking this flat spot I would be able to, but it's not. So um anyway, I think this is a good spot for it. Now you this you can obviously mm -hmm. move it up and down wherever you want. I'm thinking sure. well, can you pull up that picture of the cache on uh huh? Yeah. Or of the door. Yeah. yeah. Maybe I'll go up a little bit more with it. Looks like it's well the I, I didn't pull up one with the canister in, but I'm going to go up right. a little bit more. Yeah, you can see, you can see over there where the where the where the canister would be. You can see the mounts right there too. That's really good. So, yeah. And this is why I liked when when I was looking at that, and I'm like, I think they mounted it from behind. This makes it so much easier to mount just here, and I'm not worried about it breaking off because trying to mount. This little thing, I was going to recess a screw in here. I mounted right. it to the front, and I was not liking that idea. And then same with this. This is the the bottom piece I made to mount on the front, and I just screwed a hole. I drilled a hole in it, and it's going to hold it that way. But this way, I know it's going to be secure. Uh, Roomba Cat's saying that. Um, oh, sorry. Jump. I jumped. Force Awakens one. Let me jump back one. Um, uh, Ruby Cat's saying I usually build at least two of the same cache. Second yeah, he's one is always good at better. Building more than one. <laughs> oh, you absolutely you always learn from your first one. So that um Star Wars and or that signal and carbonite. There's yeah. so many things I would do completely different uh with that. But uh, still so cool to watch. But it's still cool. There's nothing wrong with it, but I would do things completely different now. Okay. Don't like that idea anymore. I got the holes in. Okay, so any Craig screws? Uh, Martin is suggesting you grow a third, third, third hand. That would be helpful. Martin can come over and help. So he needs you to get off. <laughs> he's lazy. He needs to get off his couch. <laughs> hey, come help you. He, he's my brother-in-law, so um, yeah. I, I learned a lot of this stuff from him. Actually, a lot of building. Um, he had. He used to have a really great woodworking shop. And everything so yeah oh yeah i forget you know martin we're giving a hard time yeah i know martin yeah. <laughs> so. uh, they actually i do have the extra hands but it's for soldering there you go see okay so this is uh this is mounted i'm noticing cool. because i moved it back something's not set right because i have a gap here uh, yeah. but it's actually tight uh, the gap there. Maybe it's it just it's off. Uh, maybe it's my curve, level. my circle is different. Huh, mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to look at that. I don't know if it really matters. I could yeah. actually put a piece of uh, 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 foam in there that has the adhesive of one side actually, mm -hmm. uh, just to really cushion thin, it. To right. cushion it, and then probably fit really tight. But right, uh, if I was gonna put this out as a real cast, which I will. I'll probably glue it all together, put a screw through it, something so it actually can't come off. I don't want someone to sit here and rotate this yeah. because I want the screen to the part to be yeah. seen. Yeah, be able to see it. So, right. um, but yeah, that's something I'm going to have to look at. Okay, so that's pretty much the mount right there. Now, on the bottom, this I was worried about this actually falling, which it's actually really secure. I'm pulling down on oh, it, and the bottom's uh -huh. going to pop off before it'll come out. Oh, good. Um, I actually just this just got the printing right before you jumped on, um, because I was thinking I would use it to hold the bottom okay. of it, but I didn't like the idea. But I thought, well, I don't want it to fall out. But with this clamp here, I think it's it's plenty tight. It's oh, that the good. container's coming apart before that will let go. So right, I'm good with that. Uh, and I could always glue this together on there. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah. Um, Oh, go ahead, gear. So I was say, yeah. Once you get that point, you can always, like you said, you kind of can. When you think about your final, I know you do this, but you're when you're thinking ahead that once I get these parts in place, I could then plan a final step, which is to glue it all. Versus, you know, because yeah, which you'll see here next. I yeah. have everything just pinned together. 
because I've taken it apart several times and a pin is so thin, there's no head on it. Right. Um, that you can pull it right apart. Right. Um, so I'm actually going to go ahead and pin this together again. Um, so this here, I'm going to mount back to the door. Right. Back to um, the door. Gotcha. Yeah. So let me grab my pinner here. Yep. I like uh, Scooby Loves Poo says, it's, uh, first one's a prototype, but uh, Scooby could be uh, the second one and the third one could also be prototypes. <laughs> <laughs> No matter what you do, right? you're always changing or learning new things or yeah, something. So we're all we've all been there. Open the door. So this is gonna go right back on here. Nice. Um, hopefully it was even with the door. Clever. Okay. So this will all get screwed and glued and put yeah. together permanently here. Um, oh, I, how did I remember how go, I mounted this? Yeah. Well, you never want to go permanent until you want to go permanent. <laughs> yeah. It's always, it's the, right. uh, if you're gonna, you, you know, it's like, wait a minute, let's not, let's not go full, uh, let's not put the glue there yet until we know that that's where we want the glue. <laughs> yes. We've all been there. Oh, I remember how he did it. Okay. I could use an extra set of hands now. <laughs> Let me reach through right there. Hang on. Here, my hand right here. Go ahead and take my hand. Take there you go. That worked perfect. Take it. There we go. Done. <laughs> Put something right here. Okay. So now it's mounted cool on, on the container here. Um, and now we will finish. Oh, you know what I should have did first was the tubing. Oh, uh, I'll just lay the whole door down. About that. Hmm. Not sure how that will work. Now, can you see it? Uh, we can see. Yep. We will. We're gonna go right in here now. What this is is this is just a um, a flexible tubing uh, that we use to put wires in for like automobiles. Yeah. Uh, some some of it's for uh, heat resistance, um, different things like that. So it's a, mm -hmm. a flex tubing. Yeah. Uh, on here. So before I was talking about using some non-metallic uh, watertight rubber tubing, and I saw this and I really liked it, but. What it does is it has a hole in it here to run mm -hmm. your wires. Yeah. Now, this comes in both a half inch piece and, and three eighths. So I have a half inch and three eighths. Okay. And so my thought was to um, run some half inch run some half inch inside. So then you oh. can't see oh, okay. it actually keeps it tighter. But you want to cut it short because the half inch won't fit over this knob. Right. So, so right. what I thought was to run some half inch in there. And they come together like this typically in a set. Well, it depends on where you buy it or yeah. whatever. So are you concerned if it it's it gonna be out in the wild if the um the elements you do you need it to just for is looks. It's just more for looks and okay, good. Plastic. I don't know what element would hurt it. No. Plastic. Well, I just meant you, I just meant that you're not putting anything of um, it's it's um, a decor. I will have wire in here actually it's that not, you mentioned. Oh, will you? Okay. Um, because but, it has to go. Mm -hmm. It'll go through, and then I'll have a little piece that comes out to the side of the okay the door to the for the latch, and that's it. So mm. uh, it won't be a big deal. It shouldn't be. You could wrap it with black tape. Which at that point, if I was going to put black tape on it, I would just go back to the uh, other tube. So this is not as flexible. So when I when um, I was thinking, well, maybe I will run through this hole. This mm -hmm. stuff does not flex. I mean, that's as tight of a turn as you can get. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, that it. stuff's yeah. Um, but I made these studs for it to fit right over, nice and tight, and fit down inside. Okay. There. Um, okay. 
And this 3.8, so that's another thing I need to redesign or figure out which way I want to go. The 3.8 is a little bit too big. Mm. So if you look at it, which I thought, um, I'll put it on the inside, and then I could put some black tape or just glue it in there. Or, right, or put a... Because uh, you won't see from the back. Um, I could do heat shrink. Yeah, I was thinking that. you could... Back to my heat do. shrink, the whole thing, that would actually look, it might look really clean, and you'll still see the ridges a little bit. Right. Well, again, you don't want people necessarily mess. If you if they mess with it too much, they're gonna take it. They'll be it'll come apart. And yeah. So. I don't know how much of this? You could put a uh, put a clamp on each on, on the on the 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 very end of it. Yeah. One of those screw clamps. You you could, but I I don't know if I want the look of that. I yeah, uh, um, I think let me look that at the picture. So in the photo, there you're right. There isn't anything. They're using a cup. Well, I don't even know if they're using a coupling in it, which is why I was going to use the ninety degree angle, the, the coupling, or the. Uh -huh. But. Um, Looking here, I have a ton of heat shrink. What did I do with it? It's looking, yeah. Okay, let's see. I'm looking at the photo here um, of it, Chad, and yeah, there's no on the bottom one though. There it looks like there is a white. Coupling yeah, of some so type. It, out, it's like the other side, but you see the back side of it. So if yeah, the other side, it has that tapered piece that it comes out of. Right. So I do have some heat shrink. Mm. Oh, okay, cool. Let's see if I can find the right size. This is all for a half inch. I thought I had some really big stuff. Uh, a couple comments that. Uh, Tom's saying, of course, the glue that works the best is usually on things you want to take apart. That's very true. Uh, Ruma Cat's giving you kudos for your build there, Chad. I want to thank Stug. Appreciate it. And um, uh, Fours Awakens saying, of course, can you give a favorite point to a cast before it's published? <laughs> and no, I, you, gotta, you sadly, just got to come to Seattle. And yeah, you got to come see it. So this is pretty much how it'll be. I'm, I might adjust the length of the tube um, here. Let me pull something up so I can, you can actually just go to my regular camera. Okay. Um, and uh, let's see. Make myself a table here. Let me pull that one up. I love these rolling garbage cans. They come in handy for an extra table all the time. Here we go. So... Um, Anyway, you can see here, so I can adjust the length of this right. to wherever I want to end up being. Um, I don't know if I like this. The other day when I saw it, I thought it was a really cool idea. Oh, the other thing I could do is drill a hole through here and actually uh -huh. go through and then put something bulky on the end of it, which yeah. is what I was going to do with that black. So on the black tube, um, on the inside, there's threads on the metallic part. And this yeah. here threads onto it and i thought about going through the bottom with that and then it couldn't pull out um and then you have these ones here or here's metal ones here that actually tighten down so you can't pull it out those are my initial thoughts and i might need to go back to those thoughts um, yeah but you know we'll if you look at the photo if you're going by a prop build you it looks it's it's really chad looking like the picture it really is Trying to. I know there's a few things um, that isn't exact, but yeah, thanks, Gary. I'm, I'm trying yeah. to a little bit. Um, so um, yeah. we're, we're getting there. We're getting close. Yeah, you're um, doing great. What you guys didn't see last week or two weeks ago, I have the red light on. I have the doorknob on now as well. Um, but now we have the canister on. I just got to do some finish work to it, get the electronics in it, build the cache on the back. Uh, and then mount it in, in the container, and it will be good to go. 
So awesome. it, it actually doesn't, we're almost, we're so close to being done on this. Um, yeah. It's been a great build. Yeah, um, it's been fun. People have said that uh, um, the uh, Bill and Moose is looking real good. I agree. Um, he's Rubicat says he thinks you got the doorknob perfect from the prop. <laughs> so you're good there. Wherever Just you found brass that. Cabinet knob. Yeah. <laughs> I went to Home Depot and found the biggest one they had of the brass cabinet knobs. Yeah. So, thank um, you. And uh, Pizza Ninja wants to give two favorite points. That's not allowed. Otherwise, or you could, well, you're not supposed to, but you could make a sock puppet account and give it another favorite point. But that's, uh, you have to create, you have to keep track of both of them and you'd have to get enough favorite points to get, a fa- you know, you have to find enough caches to, find, to get a favorite point and that's the best. <laughs> Don't do all that. Yeah, I appreciate it. I appreciate everybody's <laughs> comments. So I have a lot of fun making things. Um, yeah. You know, that's that's pretty much it. I'm, I enjoy making stuff. So that's where this stuff, this comes in. So, um, yeah, we'll, we'll see. It's going to be fun. I can't wait for it to go live. Once it goes live, I'll, we'll share it on the podcast so people can watch it if they want or see comments. So I looked everywhere at Disneyland because years ago uh-huh. when I went, Back in 2012 BC, um, mm-hmm. we uh, went and they had the hard hat, the monster hard hats. Oh, yeah. Um, but you could... my son has one from, we bought it when you're in 2012. Right. And when I was there looking for it, he was like, I have one in my room. Can't buy one now, can you? No, they're just baseball hats now. Oh, but, no, that, that doesn't work. Yeah. Well, you know what's funny is I have Gotta a have whole bunch hat. of brand new hard hats at one of my properties that I'm never going to oh, use. I thought, okay. well, I could either just paint those or get, mo- I can make some stickers to stick on them. Right. So, That's cause true. I want to make some props for people to, to wear. Yeah. No, I so, love it. At Disneyland, they had the tail that you put on. That's uh, the, uh-huh. I'm sorry. I, I'm ashamed to say, I don't know his name. I can't remember off the top of my name. So whatever the bigger blue guy is. So it has the blue tail. And stuff. Yeah. So I was looking at props when I was there for, to put in the cache. Yeah. Well, Sully. Isn't that Sully? Sully. Yeah. There you go. Sully. Yeah. 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 And Mike so Wazowski think, is the smaller. Yeah. I think one of the parts I yeah. really enjoy about caches is when people can not just interact with them, but I love photos of people taken of with the cache or if they use props. So, like, yeah. um, Bell on the Move had his lightsaber one, and people were yeah. going out there with their with their Jedi robes on and stuff. Right, dressed um, up. <laughs> I, love I have a couple caches that have on the door of it is all the magnetic words, and people all the time will will write stuff out and then push right. it to their logs or take pictures with it. Oh, that's cool. So I really like that. So um, I have another one that someone started. It's a big cache. That actually, it's going to be replacing this. That someone put sticky notes in there. And so every time I go there, there's new sticky right. notes where people write down what they enjoyed about the cache. So there's sticky notes all over from all the cashers that say that they love the cache or they enjoyed it or whatever. And I think that's fun. And, and yeah. as an owner, it, it's fun not just to read the logs, but when you go to do maintenance on the cache, you get to read all these notes. So it's really cool. And other cashers can read the notes too. Yeah. Uh, GC, GCD SK11 says, Definitely photos. Wish more people would post pics. I, I agree. I, I think that um, that's a great, uh, as Rumba Cat says, a great idea for a cash enhancement. I love the idea. Uh, and I love that the you, you've got that one cash that um, where people know they're on camera. Mm-hmm. And they always, and so when they finish it, they're like cheering and stuff. Or <laughs> So I haven't <laughs> showed it publicly. Uh, but yes, what he's talking about is called Cornerstone. It's one of my favorite caches. I love it. Uh, right. And it, so you're on video the whole time. And so I have a reaction video of people's reactions when they found it. I should yeah. I should play it one of these nights. Yeah. Uh, on here, I have it on my phone. It'd be terrible to look through my phone on the screen. Uh, no, but but yeah. it, it's no one knows her on camera. And just oh, the they reactions. don't know. No, oh, they don't know. Okay. So the reactions that you're getting from it are real reactions. And most of them are just people are high five. And there was one that um, I showed Derek. These people hugged forever (laughs) after it popped open. 
Yeah, uh, it's it's, it's got it. hard to get open. You're um, right. And so, and it's a cache that we actually, uh, I showed how to build on this, on the, on the podcast. So, but, uh, and then there's a couple of them that were like, just rolled their eyes or whatever, because they were so mad, but finally got it. Um, <laughs> in fact, uh, I was looking at the, the um, video this morning uh, at people who found it last week and someone right. spent two and a half hours there. Oh my gosh. To get it really? Open. Yeah, so th- he left three times to his car and came back. And came back. <laughs> so I think he got when frustrated. He, and, like, and I think I he says in his vlog, went to his car, and then he came back. I got to do it. Oh. I got to finish it. Went to his car. No, I, I can't give up. I got to get it. And he finally got it. Walked away. I'm done. Yeah. Then yeah. you're like, oh, I got to come back and try it again. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe it. That's funny. Yeah. I like what Hugh said here about putting the word out about the hard hat. You might be surprised what people have laying around. Uh, that's 100 correct that's a good True. idea i should put it on my instagram they may have somebody uh, may page. have a couple that they want to get rid of of those pardon me of the original that'd be yeah. cool we could do that reaction video as the a gif entry that's funny i i have an issue showing it because no one's given no one knows her on video so i don't know how that would go over yeah, I don't think any nothing's bad. It's all joy reactions, pretty much. Sure. So I don't, well, so, and you, you could, you know what? You, yeah, I, I, I see your point. Yeah, but if somebody's at your property, I mean, they're they're, I mean, that's also another security thing. If somebody tried to mess with your cash, you've got them on camera. So. Well, you can see the cameras, but yeah, people don't know, and it's right next to an ATM. At a bank, so you're going to be on. You're on multiple cameras. Yeah, so, exactly. And it's uh, and it's also the Department of Corrections is there too. So oh wow, uh, yeah. you you're on you're on a lot of cameras. Uh, I don't yeah. have I don't have audio, room of cats. Yeah, room of cats say about profanity. Yeah. Yeah. There's no there's no audio, so you have to worry about it's it. All to music. So obviously, you you don't keep the stuff that you don't want to keep. You just you're trying to. She bet drive might be actually. on there if she found it. I don't know. She's yeah, from around that's... here. I have to go back and look. There are a couple of casters that I do know. Uh, and there's actually several um, people who teach people about caching or introduce them to caching. Right. And several of mine are their go-to the places. Here. And that one, she told me, is the go-to oh, uh, cool. spot for teaching people or showing people how to cache. Right. So That's awesome. Um, yeah. Uh, Derek can blur out their faces. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's not the great. It's 4K video, but it's not the best. So I don't know if you could. Well, you could probably see it there. I don't yeah, know. you probably. Well, yeah. we'll have to show. I have no problem showing it on the podcast, but presenting yeah. it as a GIF, I don't know. We'll see. Um, can you show us a uh, couple of your uh, lightsaber projects? Is that oh you're you're okay with doing or? Oh yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, I don't have them all down here. I have four. Um, you love that that's uh, uh the audience is like is this like a chad thing i don't have them all here i have four of them here <laughs> <laughs> did someone say that no that's what you said <laughs> that's what they're thinking um no, no, so, I'm saying, that's that's definitely a chad thing to say it's like i've only got <laughs> i only have 16 of them here i don't have the well others. i mean they're not all mine i built i have three that are mine right my wife built one and my son built one so they're right. the lightsaber builds you do at star wars um they're really they're they're really cool. They're heavy. Um, so this is my wife's. Uh, so when you go, you can choose different styles of lightsabers. Right. Um, there's one that is uh, power and something else, and one that's peace, and one that's protection. Um, so you, this is. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I was gonna say. I'm sorry. Do you, uh, can you build? Do they give you the the blueprints for like? Oh, I want to build Luke's one, or I want to build. Darth Vader's. Do they you have to buy theirs? Oh, uh, okay. You can build kind of like it, but it won't be exactly. So when you get it, so this is what. In fact, I could take. I don't want to take my wife's part. So this is it. Um, you can see when you try and turn on, it doesn't turn on, but you can hear it. Try to turn on, and it won't. Right. Um, once you put the blade in, you can see. Oh, it. then it comes on. Oh, right. Clever. Um. It makes so, the noises and everything. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> oops, uh, so these just pop out. 
fun. Um, Clever. Yeah, yeah so really Force so Awakens. Go ahead. Oh, go ahead. I was going to say real quick, uh, Force Awakens said the Screamcaster happens to be on display at Cash Fest. I may just have to bring the hard hat. You might want to just bring the hard hat anyway, because you never know what's going to happen at Cash Fest. So, so not to get off topic, because I do anyways. Um, <laughs> I'm, it's very easy to distract me. Uh, my scream canister. So <laughs> the other night, uh, I heard something fall. And I was like, what is that? Um, signal and carbonate fell for some reason, which I oh, no. we had a small earthquake. Well, is it my scream cache? Oh fast. no! <laughs> so it it's uh, it's in pieces, but luckily I can rebuild it. The top stayed okay, and it just broke one of the the oh the rings. side thing. Um, but yeah, I mean this this got destroyed. But whatever, I can build another one. I know how. Oh my! We have the technology. But, but yes, no... I might bring mm. the fur the oh, bigger one of oh, this one, or right bigger one of that, the bigger one of that to Cash yeah. Fest. Um, as well, and uh, should let everybody see it. Uh, in fact, I'm working on um, making that itself a cache with its own area, a mechanism that pops a canister out. Very cool. So, but uh, uh, I like the one with the door and everything. Engineer 42 saying, I'm sure you have seen the crystals can be reprogrammed or made at home with RFID components. So, um, well, and uh, I've heard that, and also I could use my. I was told I could use my resin printer, okay, to make the crystal. So I'll take one apart here. Okay, cool. Uh, not the other way. So this was my first one I built, which is the old school Jedi style. Oh, okay, uh, yeah. One, um, the guy, the guy, at Disneyland says this is old Jedi text. He's like, do you know what it says? And I said, yeah, it says live long and prosper. Um, <laughs> and he laughed. He's like, oh, well, none of us know what it really says. <laughs> he wasn't. He laughed, but then he was not very happy about it. So, Come on, that's clever. Has, yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, sometimes I'm pretty quick at things. So you were. when it starts being when being a smart person, <laughs> I or how do you say it? I can't say that I'm smart, but I'm pretty good at that. But anyway, um, so this is the old school uh, Jedi old Jedi protection style okay. lightsaber. So when you build them, you can do several ones. So this is yellow, which is not a choice of a crystal when you build it. You only get okay. uh, red, green, blue, and purple as your choice. But you okay. can buy white or yellow. Uh, and then online, I've seen people buy them that they actually change colors. Oh, um, well, that sort of goes against the... Yeah, and then this is my second one I built that is the... Um, power and something so it's like Darth vader's a little yeah bit. i was say it looks like darth yeah so slick the crystal that he was talking about is uh inside so they come apart and you have choices when you build it so i think you have four different choices of the tops okay. if i remember right and yeah. then there might be two choices of the tops and two, two choices of the bottom okay uh and then you have two two maybe four choices for the hilt or the top piece here so right. you can see that the um kyber crystal is inside flashing okay right um, I see that and then you have your handle you have several choices and then you have two choices for your activation part okay which pops off and then that's where your kyber crystal is underneath that oh really cool so he was talking about you can reprogram these so these pop out I didn't look at them close enough, but now that I look at it, there is a chip or something in there. Yeah, so he's saying that you could get an RFID. I, I'm not sure. RF, I mean, the RFID chip would be cool. I guess you could program it to do something remotely. I mean, that's the point of RFID. So, yeah. but uh, so Rumicast wants to says you, we need to have a shelf of shame. Gadget caches show caches that seem like a good idea that didn't turn out that way. <laughs> oh, I have lots of them that are sitting there because they haven't turned out exactly how you wanted them to turn and out. Trisha yet. was commenting on your baby Yoda in the background. Oh, Grogu? Yes. Grogu back there. That's yep. another project I need to finish his little container. I made a stand for it to sit because it's an egg and it, it'll roll around. So I use PVC yep. pipe to have him sit there. But yes, thank you. He yes. doesn't have his 
needs to put this on. Although now oh, I got to make chain metal. Oh. <laughs> but now I need there to make the chain metal. For the him. chain metal. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. If, if anybody's watched Book of Boba Fett, you could see the. Uh... Yes. Oh, I love it. Uh, so and then I made this. an R2 unit or yep. whatever. R4. Um, I think it's an R4. He's been going off. Is that what it is? I don't know. They have all kinds of. Yeah, I think that's an R4. He's Correct been talking. Me if I'm wrong, chat room, if I'm wrong. So, oh, uh, and then the other one I got here was one I bought. It is Darth Vader's uh, lightsaber. So you can't make it, but you can buy it. Um, so anyway, I don't know. The blade they use the same blades that light up. But uh, anyway, sorry. I've got my. Here's my R2, Chad. Oh, did you make one? No, no, no. That looks bigger than mine. No. I own it. It's big. Yeah, that's bigger that's than mine. Mine's not that big. Probably needs batteries. I need to replace the batteries, but he'll talk to you. He's My tap son on made the a TV unit, and they sit tap. and talk to each other. Yeah, so if you tap him on the head, you, you go, hey, R2, and you can talk to him, and he'll, he'll do things. You can make him dance, or he'll protect a room. Like he has a little, um, I don't know if they still make these or not, but it's pretty slick. Um, so you can buy a real one from Disney. Full oh, really? size, remote control, everything decked out. 25 grand. Wow. <laughs> and I'm like, no, no thanks. Oh, that, that <laughs> one's really nice. Oh, maybe so, I need okay. to... so, yeah, I bought. Um, both I bought this head. There's several heads you can get, so I can change yeah, the head out um, real fast, depending on what you want. Right. Maybe I see it fast. There you go. So, um, and he he talks. You you can. It's actually pretty cool for kids. Um, but uh, they uh, you can actually make them dance and program them to dance. Yeah. Uh, which is really, really cool um, to do. But if my sense VB unit's on and this one's on, they will actually sit there and talk to each other. They'll talk to each other, yeah. Yeah. So my, anyway. uh, this R2 uh, is this R2 is designed also to, I don't know if yours will do the same, but if the movie's on, it will respond to the to like the original movie. It knows yeah, this doesn't that, do that. It, it hears things and it'll respond to a certain things that are said, or if it hears certain voices, it like knows that that voice is, you know, like if you tell it, um, like if you if you it, you ask it questions about do you remember? It's built into the program. It's like, do you remember Darth Vader? And he'll actually back up and go, no. Hmm, that's interesting. Yeah, I uh, mine doesn't do that, but if you. There's backpacks that you get you can buy with them that have an open back, and as you're walking through Galaxy's Edge, it'll talk to all the droids around it. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That's right. It's, it's actually pretty cool. cool. That's awesome. All right, all we right. definitely got off track. Oh, Sorry, wow. yeah. Yeah, I can talk all day about stuff like Clever, that. Clever B2. Yeah, Rumba Cats. Never underestimate a droid. That's exactly right. <laughs> um yeah. Yeah, Forza Ways interact with the movie. Yep. Bluetooth connect to the phone. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's that's really cool. I did buy a personality chip for this one too, but I don't like it. I don't think you can be a regular R two type of Just a regular. Yeah, right. I mean, it sounds like something completely different. So I took it yeah. out. Cool. Anyway, yeah. Well, so next week we will be yep. finishing this thing up finally. Finally, and onto something yeah. different. Now we have. A Star Wars, uh, we have May, May the 4th coming up. Uh, we do. And so I have a great idea for a cache. Now, if you've seen Star Wars, if you've been anything Star Wars, you like shipping containers, right? And what's, oh, yeah. you know, people put a lot of containers out in the wild. Well, I have one that's weather tight and everything that I think would look really a lot like a Star Wars cargo container. Right. And oh, nice. So this is going to turn into a Star Wars geocache. Love it. Um, so we're going to paint it and get it up and everything. And I think that this is going to turn out amazing. It's sealed, yeah, awesome. so it's weather tight. 
Um, yeah. So what these are made for is to hold uh, spill kits. So uh, the oh. the material that soaks up uh, moisture or anything, okay. you know, any liquids. And so it has to stay airtight because otherwise all the moisture would wick it up in the air. Um, so this thing would be perfect out in the wild. So that will be a build we're coming up with here shortly. On May the 3rd. So you'll be ready for the next day, May the 4th. Maybe. We'll see. Yeah. That's going to take a lot of paint. <laughs> and then the other thing I, I mentioned the other day, so I don't know what people want to see first, uh, is also the... Oh, the uh, element, the cubes. element, the element cubes. Yeah, um, element cubes, right? Yeah, for from um, fifth element, fifth element. So, yep. um love it. I have lots of stuff coming up, and they're yeah. shorter builds. I'm excited. Shorter okay. builds, yeah. It's good yeah. to go. Like you know, you guys are good about um, doing them varying, varying shapes, sizes, difficulty levels. You know, I, I like that you you provide a lot of variety, so that you know once in a while, if it you know you might do an Arduino board in one, or you'll do some that don't. You know, so you can kind of. I like the mixing and matching because you're covering, you're running the gamut. Whereas some people may not be comfortable yet with some of you know, some may be, you know, not everybody's Tricasius or Roomba Cats or. Or D D D D J W house, but others are, you know, their their skills are growing, and but they want to keep going, you know. And there's others that are just getting started. So you've got people all over the spectrum. Yeah, it's nice, and actually doing it weekly, a little bit tougher with a build like this because almost every day I'm in here building. Yes. So, uh, so uh, that's not going to these giant projects are not going to happen every time, but it's nice because we can actually get more content out. Earpiece yeah. fall off. Sorry, my mic. Uh, so, but we can get a lot more out now monthly. Yeah, you're doing great. I like the new format. I hope pe people like the new format. Uh, we put all the shows on Sunday except for Gadget Talk. Uh, not that Gadget Talk may someday make a Sunday appearance. We never know. We're flexible. But for now, I like this this uh, this the setup for now. So it's it's been great. Uh, looking forward to what you guys are going to do for Cash Fest too. I know there's been a lot of discussions. I, I think it's going to be great. Um, so the uh, Academy, mm -hmm. the Gadget Academy will be a very unique cash, mm -hmm. um, which uh, I'm just finishing. Well, I say me, Dave Wagner, uh, obviously who, who does all of our stuff. He's he's very good at it. Right. Is working on the the cash for that. Um, that will be exclusive to Cash Fest. So if you can attend Cash Fest, you're going to get an amazing cash. So yeah, I can really, show it to you when we get off air, but I don't want to spoil it. No, no, you're good. We don't want to spill any beans or anything like that. Yeah. But um, yeah, that's why I'm going to show it to you when we're off the air. No, okay, cool. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> um, yeah, not to just not not to sell. You know, to try to sell VIP. You know, to sell VIP. We don't want to. You know. We're, we're packing a lot into the VIP packages, um, both Puzzle Challenge Talk and, and get uh, Challenge Academy, Puzzle Academy, Gadget Academy. All three of them are going to be um, are going to be great. Um, uh, Dave says um, it's going to be a butte clock. Going to be a oh. butte. I was wondering what that was. I was like, yeah, am I not be that right? Butte. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> it is. Uh, but so there's so much. I mean, uh, all three of them are really going going hog wild and they're getting so much ready. Um, so, you know, it, it's going to be a lot. But yet, if you don't want to do all of it, then you don't, you don't have to do all of it. But you've got those options. And really, it's going to be it's going to be great to have, um, you know, try to come early if you can try to get there by, you know, first, first events Wednesday. Um, and that's when you can pick up all of your, your packages, um, the puzzle Academy, you know, in the challenge Academy, there'll be things to do prior for gadget Academy. 
you pretty much want to make sure you're obviously you want to be there for the build. That's the key. I mean, that's the big key. Yeah. Otherwise, you're going to have to take a home and build it yourself later. Build it yourself. Yeah. <laughs> you build it there, you get a lot of people to help and a lot of people, and you get all the equipment. The, well, and, so, and just the uh, experience of just building with other builders. I mean, it's yes, just fun. Exactly. I mean, that's, I enjoy it. Oh, yeah. So, it's going to be great. I'm going to be there before. early. I think I'm going to be there the Saturday before, Saturday right. or Sunday. Uh, and so if people get there early, um, there's gonna be lots of caches there to find. Um, they there have are. the free events, like you mentioned. Mm -hmm. uh, I think mine's on Wednesday. Well, it's, they're all through the thing, but it's, we're going to yeah. have what five of the, uh, um, side events or side uh, events. What are they? The, they're all uh, community celebrations. Yeah. Community celebration events. Yeah. So that's pretty crazy to have that many community celebration events. Like if you're trying to get a dozen of them or something before they go away, you could get five of them. I think that yeah. that week. Oh, I, yeah. And if people are wanting the coins, they need to order them because it sounds like they're going. I'm watching the order form and they're going pretty quick. Yeah, well, that and the uh, we actually uh, are starting to run out of rooms. Uh, we're selling well, I heard out that too. Is and, that crazy that we announced that what a week or so ago and they're almost sold out of rooms? Yeah, at the at the host hotel, and that's the one to yeah. really be at because. You may see a, you know, you may, may have a Chad sighting. You may be a good bit of getting an autograph or two while you're there because, you know, <laughs> my autograph's not worth much, but I'll be more than happy. <laughs> but I do know someone who has some amazing books that I still can't get autographed. Sign my containers. So, so, so I'll sign containers. But oh, there you go. Put there's out some books like this books. that yeah. you might be able to get autographed. Who's, who's that yeah, guy? Yeah. Right? I, I still haven't had him autographed. Yeah. I went to too long. Uh, you know, I'm gonna bring you bring you a few twenty dollar bills, and you can get in line. And uh, no, I'm kidding. Just bring them, I'll sign them. <laughs> nice. All right. Well, thanks. Uh, as Hugh said, great show. Hit the like button. Thanks for sharing ideas. Um, hope someone videos the Academy stuff builds to show us. Oh yeah, um, definitely. Uh, we'll have we'll have we should have we're gonna try to have live cameras, Hugh. So. You know, people can watch uh, and all that. So, all right. We good to go? I don't know the ending uh, video clip. I don't see it on here. I'll do it. I, I so can if you it. want to do it, that'd be great. All right. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night, everybody.